You're listening to TalkTainmentRadio.com. The views and opinions expressed are those of the host and guest and not necessarily those of TalkTainmentRadio.com, the management, the staff, or K&E World Network, LLC. Look up in the sky! It's a... topic for today's show is the year of revenge travel. Ready to travel? So is everyone else. Travel and hospitality experts predict this summer will be a huge surge in travel. The last two years, uh, travel has been limited and with with the vaccines and everything opening back up, uh, travel is on the rise, completely on the rise. So travel experts predict that this year would be the year of revenge travel. And even though that's a silly term, it sounds like a silly term, but uh, they feel that because people has been pent up and wasn't able to travel for the last two years, that this year would be an increase in travel. This year would be an increase where prices won't be as important as prices were in the past. People would splurge on travel. Uh, example is I have a couple that just got back from Vegas and now they're heading to Jamaica. And one of the things they wanted in the package was first class airfare. And this couple has has traveled with me throughout the years. And this is the first year that they wanted first class airfare. And that's that pent up demand of wanting to travel and wanted to splurge, splurge on on something that they've never done before. You know, so this this is this is what we call the year of revert of 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 revenge travel. Because everybody wants to travel. Everybody wants to get out and get away. So with revenge travel also comes higher prices. Inflation uh, also comes with poor service. A lot of the resorts you may go to uh, may not be up to staff because the last two years business has been limited. And you may also find that the higher price accommodations are sold out Five-star resorts are sold out, and if you travel now, I ha- I I have a I I have a couple that that wants to travel. Um, they they messed around, and messed around, and all the higher accommodations are sold out, and all they're stuck with now are the three-star accommodations. Um, that's one of the things that you're going to run into. You're going to run into uh, a lot of places being sold out. Uh, from 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 now through August, things things are probably open back up in August, as as school kicks back in, but but for the summer, the business is booming, is absolutely absolutely booming. My business is absolutely booming, you know. So we've termed this phrase as revenge travel because we expect a boom. In the travel business, we expect you not to be able to find rental cars when you travel places. That if you rent a car, you need to rent a car months in advance uh, so the rental places know and understand that you need a car when you get to that de- that, that destination. Uh, we're finding out that people, people want to go to sun and beach beach destinations the sun and the beach i have a person that works with me and they've planned a trip to hawaii in june because they want to see the ocean and they want a lot of sun you know we expect a boom during this year of of uh, uh of of revenge travel and while everybody wants to travel, we believe 
that most people will play it safe. Um, most travel will be to the United States. Most travel will be to, to the Caribbean. Most travel would be to Mexico. Um, we believe that people will play it safe. Second half of the year, we believe that international travel will pick up. Uh, we talked about how um, around August 15th, uh, the, the airfare for international travel is at its lowest. Uh, and we already know in international travel, fall is a lot slower than the summer. So we predict, we predict that international travel will pick up in the second half of the year and that August would be a good time to book that international flight. Again, we're talking about the year of revenge travel. Uh, like I said, many people are inclined to splurge, splurge on their travel to, to uh, maybe want to stay in a five-star resort versus staying in a three-and-a-half resort. Um, most, most, mo most people want to see the beach, destinations that have sand and beach. They, they want open spaces because everyone believes uh, COVID spreads less in open spaces than it does in closed spaces. So everybody wants to go to the beach. I'm getting um, huge requests for family vacations of eight and 10 people. And one, and one of the things that they want is to be by the beach, is to absolute, absolutely be by the beach. Um, so... Again, we talk about this is the year of revenge travel. One of the things that, that, that we talked about is how prices are going to increase because of revenge travel. So, for example, Carnival Cruise Lines is raising the price of all their onboard services. For example, it costs more money to buy a drink package than it did before. Uh, example, uh, they've raised the price of the recommended amount that you give for gr gratuities than it was before. Before I, I think before it was thirteen ninety nine a day. Uh, starting May first, it's fourteen ninety nine a day. Uh, and based on a seven day cruise, that's one hundred and one dollars, and that's just one person. So, along with Increased business is increased prices. Um, I believe, if, if I remember correctly, some of the onboard uh, services that, that has increased, um, their Internet service has increased by 20%. Um, internet service, the specialty, the specialty dining has increased by 15%. And this is not only Carnival Cruise Lines. This, this is across the board. This is this is across the board that um, uh, these prices prices are increasing. So it's not just Carnival Cruise Lines. It's Norwegian. It's Royal Caribbean. It's all, all the cruise lines are increasing their pricing for onboard services. So drink packages are going to cost you more. Internet service is going to cost you more. Um, one of the things that we suggest. During this year of travel is to make sure that you purchase travel insurance, especially if you're going to Mexico or the Caribbean. Purchase, purchase travel insurance because that protects your investment. That protects your investment. If something goes wrong um, and, if you, and, and if you don't have travel insurance, there's a lot of different things that can happen. Uh, as you know, you still have to test to, test to get back in the United States. So what happens if you test positive and you don't have travel insurance? So travel insurance during this time of the year of revenge travel is very, very important. You shouldn't travel without it. Absolutely, absolutely shouldn't travel without it. Um, we talked about the best time to book a domestic flight is about 64 days before you travel, between 64 and 69 days before you travel. Um, international flights is about 119 to 120 days. 
uh, if you're flying internationally. And again, we talked about August being the best time to purchase airline tickets. Holiday travel. How Holiday travel, they suggest that you book your ticket now. And they suggest that you don't book economy. That you book a different class. So if prices goes down, you can use the difference to um, pay for that cheaper price ticket. So there's just just a, a lot going on in the travel business right now. We expect a travel boom. And I know in my office, we are extremely, extremely busy. So we expect a travel boom. Uh, a lot of things I'm seeing right now is um, vacations for the month of July booked up. Booked up. The high end is booked up. The low end is booked up. Uh, like 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 everything is booked up. Uh, things may open open back up after school starts, but right now everything's booked up. And the other thing that we're seeing is that service service from a lot of these companies are not up to par uh, because there's such a rush in business that they didn't expect. So they don't have enough help, and um, services is not always up to par. Rooms. Rooms are not are not always clean. Um, some rooms are not even ready when the guests arrive. So there's a lot going on in this travel boom that we're calling the year of revenge travel. There's a lot going on on both sides. Both sides, um, people traveling want to splur splurge, and on the other side, vendors are trying trying to get up to speed. Uh, because they haven't seen this type of business in a couple of years. So there's some different things to expect when you travel. One of the things I want to talk about uh, real fast is the Soul Beach Music Festival in Aruba is back. It is May 25th to the 30th. Uh, here at Ty and Travel, we have all-inclusive accommodations uh, available, and you can give us a call at 866 866- Five four seven five three six two, and some of the uh, uh, guests, some of the uh, 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 entertainers are New Edition, Mary J. Blige, Mike Epps, and Dougie Fresh is some of the uh, guests that's involved in that. And by the time we do our next show, I should have packages available for the Cincinnati Music Festival. Uh, which go which is back again this year. The festival is going on this year. I should have packages available for that, and we can talk about we can talk about that. But in the year of revenge travel, everybody's ready to travel. Everyone is ready to travel. So am I. I'm ready to travel too. Uh, and the experts predict summer. This summer will be the busiest travel season ever. Already, we're seeing uh, in in the Caribbean resorts filled up. Uh, the top end is filled. The lower end is filled. Uh, places places that people want wanted to stay are all booked up. Uh, I I have a gentleman that um, uh, booked a trip to. Sandal, Sandals Resort last year and um, paid for it and he goes to book the excursions and none and none of the excursions are available on the days that he's there uh, which is which is a bit of a problem um, but you have to expect that with this boom in the travel business uh, services are not going to be as good as they were before and you can you can expect to see huge crowds if you travel between now and August, about August fifteenth. Fifteenth, kind of kind of expect things to fall off a little because uh, kids are going back to school. Um, if you wait too late, October the snowbirds will be booking up everything. If you wait too late in October and November and December. So 
this is this is going to be a tremendous travel year. Uh, the TSA has been sc screening over a million passengers uh, most days since since um, February, and they're looking to hire six thousand more TSA agents because they expect a boom in travel this summer. So if you're planning to take a vacation, now's the time to start checking because things are filling up fast. They're filling up fast. Uh, I have a young couple that wants to go to Jamaica, <clears throat> and in their price range, everything is booked. Everything is absolutely booked, and they, they have to go to the next level uh, if they want to go on the dates that they want to travel. So... Uh, Travelers are splurging. They're spending more money because they haven't traveled in a couple years. So look towards a boom in travel for 2022 and maybe even for the summer of 2023. We, they predict that this, this may actually last uh, a couple years, this boom in travel, until everything settles down and everybody... And everybody's used to traveling again. Okay. And, 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 and here's an example. Hotel prices um, in the month of March are, are, are going for about $150 a night. Um, and that's happening in late, late March. It's going for about $150 a night where before it might have been $101. So that's how prices, prices are in, increasing. And... International travel is back, so if you plan to go to New York, you can, you can expect to see higher prices because international travel is back, and New York travel was king on, on international travel. Again, international travel is back. People are coming, coming to the States. You can expect, expect to see higher prices in Las Vegas because of international travel. So things are booking up fast. If you, if, if you want to travel, you need to start making reservations now because if you wait too long, everything would be booked up. And what we're seeing is the higher price accommodations are filling up fast. Where the low end uh, is also filling up fast. Some, some spots in the middle, some places where people don't want to go are not filling, filling up fast. But if you're going to the Caribbean or Mexico, New York, Las Vegas, New York, those spots are filling are filling up fast. So again, we're calling we're calling this the year of revenge travel because everyone everyone is making up for lost time. Um, I plan to be in Vegas in June and. And uh, uh, um, someplace in July and someplace in August. So this is the year of revenge travel. But if you're going to travel to the Caribbean or Mexico, be sure to purchase travel insurance. So if you have any questions, you can cer certainly give us a call at 866-547-5362. And everyone is ready to travel, including myself. And travel and hospitality experts say this summer would be the busiest travel season ever as people catch up on two years worth of not traveling or very limited travel. And rising costs are not holding people back. They're not holding people back. Uh, I, I have family here right now from California. Um, None of that stopped her from traveling. So look up in the sky as the superhero of travel is Ricky Tyus. And we're able to take you around the world by air, land, and sea, even by flying saucer. And we're live on TalkTainmentRadio.com radio the way it should be heard.